In this lesson, we are going to work on restoring trash posts and I'm just going to show you some little things that we can do to make our application better. The first thing we want to do is go to our post controller and right here you can see that for the destroy, we are deleting the post image and for the update, we are also deleting the post image. We can make this better and there are two ways to shift this functionality to the model. We can create a method in the model that is going to help us delete post image. Let me show you how that's going to look. This is the post model in the app folder. Then here I can just create a public function delete image. And this is simply going to call the storage facade delete. And then it's going to pass in this image. Okay. And let me just document this return void and it's going to say delete post image from storage so this method is used to delete an image and now how would we use this in our post controller we don't call the storage directly we simply say post delete image and this is much much cleaner so that in case in future you 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 change the functionality or there's more that you want to do after deleting an image then this is exactly what you're going to do because maybe the functionality for deleting an image is deleting it from Cloudinary or from an external API. If that code was, you know, five to 10 lines of code, then it's going to be really messy putting it in your controller. So what you want to do is move out the functionality, put it in the model so that in your controller, you just call a one liner function like this. Okay. You can do the same thing for the delete and this kind of reads clearly. Okay, post delete image, post force delete. Okay, so I can go ahead and clean up this facade right here. All right, so the next one I want to do is make sure that we can restore trash post. So I'm going to go back to the index.blade.php for post, which is right here. And you can see that if the post is not trashed, then we show the edit. What we're going to do is have an else and then an end if okay then if the post is trashed we are going to show a trash or restore button so if the post is trash we'll show a restore button and if it's not trash then we'll show the edit so here i'm going to say restore so i'm just going to come here refresh you can see the restore button right there and if it's not trash so let me just create a post that is not trashed let me just come to Lipsum so I can get some dummy data. I'll copy this paragraph as the description, paste it right here, copy this content, paste it right here, select a date in the future, create post. Awesome. So you can see this one has not been trashed, so it says edit. But this one has been trashed, so it says restore. Okay, so you can see we actually have a bug in the application. And I don't know if you just noticed. Because here it shows only the posts that have not been deleted. But here it shows all the posts. So even those that have not been deleted are showing up right here. So let's fix that right away. We'll go to our post controller and the method that returns the trashed, we're just going to say only trashed. Okay. And this is going to get us only the trash post. And if you refresh right now, great, that's fixed. So for displaying only the trash post, use the only trash method. And that's it. Now, I don't like the fact that this button is having a dark text. So I'm just going to go to my app.blade.php. And then right here at the top, I can include a script or a star, sorry. And then for a.button, I can give this a text or color of white. And if I refresh, great so you can see the color is white but right now we don't yet have the restore functionality but let's go ahead and implement that so we're gonna have a new route in our routes file so we're gonna say routes post and this is going to be restore post and maybe this should actually be a put because we're kind of updating the post right so this is going to be post controller at restore and this is going to have a name of restore post dot update 
or we can just call it restart post okay so this is going to be used to restart a post now we just need to go to our post controller and create a new method called restart public function restore okay but we need to know specifically what post we're trying to restore right so let's make this a dynamic route so here we're gonna have post okay so here we can use route model binding to get the post that we're trying to restore and here I'm just gonna call post restore and this function is gonna help to restore the post and that's it so we can just flash a message so post restored successfully and in this case we can return redirect back and the back function helps us simply take the user back to where the user is coming from okay so now that our web.php defined a put route we need to make sure that the restore button submits a put request to this endpoint to to restore the post and this is very important for security because you don't want people to restore the post using a get route if not it's gonna simply be easy to update it from the url okay or restore the post from the url we did this in the to do project because you know we're starting out with Laravel, we wanted to keep everything simple now let's go to the index.blade.php and here where we have our restore endpoint i'm just going to change this to a button and this is going to be a button i'll delete the href and here we want to have a form and the action is going to be route and the name of the route is restore post and we'll pass in the post id right here and i'll place that button there and we want to make sure we provide our csrf token and we also define our method which is going to be put and don't forget to set the method for the form to be post make sure the button is of type submit and i think we're good to go so remember the name here is restore post that's why the name right here is restore post so let's try this out if we click on restore we have a 404 not found hmm. let's check this out in our post controller we are trying to use route model binding but remember this post has been trashed okay so what we want to do is simply get the id just like we did for the permanent delete and then use this to actually find the post so post is equal to post with trashed where id is this id and then we'll get the first or fail okay so if we come back right now go back refresh click on restore you can see post restored successfully we don't have any trash post so we can click on post and you can see we have the post right there if we trash this we visit the trash post you can see it's right there but this restore button is still not pretty for me i'm just gonna go to the app that laid the php and make sure that this is for both buttons and ATARs. if i refresh okay awesome that works you can see our restore functionality works okay so that's it for this lesson i'll catch you up in the very next one